the RTX 4070 Ti. It hasn't released yet, and it might be released at the upcoming CES of 2023, but this isn't a secret to us. We know that back in what was um, like October, Nvidia showed off three cards, and that was the 4090, the 4080 16 gigabyte, and the 4080 12 gigabyte. But there's a lot of outcry about the 4080 12 gigabyte, and Nvidia unlaunched it. Now it's clear to us now be between leaks and everything that the 4080 12 gigabyte is now the 4070 Ti. So we've already seen performance of the 4070 Ti, which is going to be coming out soon. Um, we can see here that there's even models that have been leaked. This is the 4070 Ti, all the models from Gigabyte, the Aorus Master, the Aorus Pro or, or Elite, all these things that we've already seen, and which is kind of funny. Um, because typically you wouldn't have seen this with a typical GPU launch, but because this card was technically ready to come out in November, all they had to do was change the boxes. So in order to relaunch this 4070 Ti. It's so funny that it's such a, a unkept secret is that we have all performance already pretty much charted out because certain people already have their hands on the 4070 Ti at this point in time. You can see here the 4070 Ti mostly matches up with the performance of a 3090 Ti. They're pretty much neck and neck in most cases. Um, the 4080 is about 20 to 30% faster and the 3080 is about 80% the performance of it, so 20% slower. What's interesting here is to compare it against the uh, AMD cards, so the new cards, the 7900 XTX and the 7900 XT. Um, so it seems like it is slower than the 7900 XTX by about 20 to 40% all the way in DirectX 11, as you can see here. It's actually getting pretty like close in ray tracing performance. So the XTX seems like it's faster, um, but it's only a little bit faster in, in ray tracing. Speedway and Port Royal are ray tracing benchmarks. So that's something to keep in mind. This, uh, the 7900 XT, which we've kind of all known to be a pretty bad value, uh, all things considered, seems to be about 90 to 95% the performance of the 4070 Ti. The 7900 XT seems to be about 90-ish percent the performance of the 4070 Ti in ray tracing, but it seems to be about 10 to 25 percent slower in, in rasterization performance. So these are the, the interesting things that we have to compare against in this particular scenario, because not only is the performance leaks there, we also already have a price. And uh, it seems like uh, the 4080 12 gigabyte back in the day was going to be released at $900, which was outrageous at the time, but it seems like they're going to drop it down to $800, as you can see by this article here, which is kind of crazy. But what I want to argue in this video is that NVIDIA seems like they're going to win in the end here, even though we got them to switch basically the release of the 4080 12 gigabyte and turn it into the 4070 Ti. In the end, I still think NVIDIA is going to win in this battle against their own consumers, which is so weird. We can see here that the 7900 XT um, isn't selling very well. And this is the main competitor versus the 4070 Ti. And it's already starting to go under its MSRP of $900. Now this is a European prices, but you know, just, just to look at that, it, most people are selling it, seeing that it's not really selling that well and that they need to change the price of it. You're put in this position where the 4070 Ti actually goes for $800. And it seems that it is pretty much neck and neck with the 7900 XT in a lot of cases. It seems like it's a little slow on rasterization probably not anything to get super concerned about. And it's also most likely that the 4070 Ti is going to be more power efficient than the 7900 XT. Just, just comparing the 4080 to the 7900 XTX um, shows that it probably will be more power efficient, probably up to a hundred watts of less power, uh, which is pretty cool. Like in the end, as much as we want to bitch and complain about them, it seems like no matter what, they're going to win. You can see the last generation of the 3070 Ti. So 3070 to 4070 um, used to have an MSRP price of $600. And now the MSRP price of the 4070 Ti is $800. So $200 increased generation on generation. But what's weird is when you compare it to the 3080, 
Now the 3080, as you can see by this performance chart, is not that far behind the 4070 Ti. Like oh, across the board is about 20% slower in most cases. Um, but the MSRP of the 3080, uh, 10 gigabyte was about $700 at launch, which it never really went for that price. But let's just play pretend here for a second and see that the 3080 at one point in time was $700 or it should have been $700. So we know that the 4070 Ti on launch probably isn't gonna go for that either. So if you were to stack the MSRP, now this won't really apply too much, but if you were to stack the MSRP up, it seems like $100 more is about a linear scale for cost per performance dollar. I think the 4070 Ti is going to have about the same performance per dollar to the 3080. But many people are gonna argue, or NVIDIA might do in their advertising here, is like, oh, but it has 3090 Ti performance um, for $800 when the 3090 Ti sold for $2,000 MSRP. And my argument to that is like, nobody in their right mind ever thought that the 3090 Ti was worth $2,000. It's just, it's like in that situation where the 4090 is right now. It's just nothing can touch it. So it can basically charge whatever they want for it just because, you know, the whales that are going to just buy that stuff are just gonna buy it and you can't really change that. So I also wanted to show you the street price on the 3080s. So if you guys ever heard the rumors and stuff, Nvidia was always trying to uh, basically manipulate the market and how much supply was out there because they still had an excess of 3000 series cards, at least high end cards that they wanted to sell. Even though, this, even though the MSRP of the 3080, which it never really hit, it's seven hundred dollars. Um, it seems like all cards are going for over a thousand dollars, and that's because there's not that much stock. So in the end, here, as much as we want to say it, people are still buying thirty eighties, and Nvidia has almost sold out of thirty eighties, and the forty seventy Ti is coming in to take its place. And it's pretty much linear scaling. You pay a hundred dollars more on the MSRP, and that's that. What's funny is that these four thousand series cards are almost like they could have been 3000 series cards, which is just kind of funny to me. Um, I'd say the only main difference is the power efficiency, but they almost could have been just 3000 series cards. It just kind of, it's kind of disappointing. I just wanted to show you here too, the 3090 Ti nowadays goes for about 1500 to $2,000, which is a bad deal because the 3090 Ti is slower than the 4080 and the 4080 uh, you could probably get it for less than what this 3090 Ti is selling for. It's because this 3090 Ti is also selling out. NVIDIA is just going to win here because the 7900 XT um, is kind of faster in some cases, it looks like. Uh, but I think a lot of people will pay for the slightly faster ray tracing performance in the 4070 Ti, and it's $100 less. So I think people will still probably buy NVIDIA. Like, let's be honest here. What I want to tell you is I don't think AMD is aggressively going to be pricing their cards. It seems like they're following the trend that NVIDIA is following. And that basically just means that NVIDIA, uh, AMD isn't probably going to take very much market share away from NVIDIA. Who's our, who's our only hope left? It's Intel, man. So the art cards, now we know that the art cards, they weren't targeting high-end performance or anything, and they have a lot of driver problems up to this point in time. They are definitely getting better. And uh, it's pretty exciting. Uh, the A70, A770 goes for uh, $350, which isn't the one I'd recommend. But the A750 seems to go for about $290, which is actually a great deal when considering that the Intel art card is a actually performed pretty well for $290, not bad. Here's like how it compares to the RTX 3060. So Nvidia's 3000 series offering at this point in time, the 3060 is still, I think in production, it's gonna probably be there for a while until Nvidia gets down the ladder to actually swap it out. It depends if they're trying to sell it out or if they're gonna keep it in, don't know. But yeah, you can see the A7, A750, at least in DirectX 12 titles, seems like it is about the same performance of a 3060. Pretty impressive, honestly, considering that the 3060 is like $450 or $400 in some cases here, it looks like. So for about $120 to $150 more, 
you're getting the same performance, which is pretty interesting value proposition. So at this point in time, it seems like Intel is trying to get some market share here, which is really cool to see. And it seems like they're going to continue with their, their graphics cards. Maybe they'll make a more powerful card in the future. But yeah, we'll see. And then you also have to compare the A750 to the, to the AMD count, counterpart, which performs about the same. Um, and the AMD counterpart, it looks like it is like $350 on average. It seems like the real cheap one you can get for 290. And the art card is also still a better deal in that case. So pretty impressive stuff that our only hope at this point is probably Intel because it doesn't seem like AMD wants to aggressively take any market share. It seems like they want to play it safe, appease to their stockholders. They're not trying to be aggressive or take any risks here, which I really wish they would, but it seems like it, uh, NVIDIA at this point is kind of just like doing whatever they want. AMD's following. And then Intel is trying their absolute best to gain some market share. And it seems like they actually have a good shot here. So I'm excited for Intel to keep going on. Yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'm at this point where I'm just like, uh, yeah, the 4070 Ti, it's, it's basically a 30 series card wrapped up with DLSS 3 and um, AV1 encoding. And uh, that's about it. Uh, I don't really see that being that nice. Then NVIDIA's strategy worked, basically, where they wanted the 3000 series cards to sell out before they could even do that. And then they basically just price these cards in line with the 30 series. So now, all of a sudden, you can't buy these 30 series cards anymore. And even though they're at low stock, not many people are going to be buying them for as much as, you know, 40 series cards worked. Like, they know what they're doing. Not, no matter how much we could cry out to them and say, don't buy these cards, don't buy these cards, they're a bad deal. Um, didn't help anything. Okay? And it's very disappointing to see that. But I want to know what you think. Um, are you going to get a 4070 Ti? It hasn't been announced yet, but pretty much all the information's out there. So let's just think about it like that. And what do you think about Intel? Um seems like uh, recently they've been making some good driver improvements from some videos I've seen. It seems to just keep getting better, and that's pretty... makes me happy. Makes me happy. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.